Hello, welcome to Flux. This is a short video to present you Flux environment. Flux window environment and the different steps to follow to make a simulation are presented in the video. The steps are first building the geometry, generating the mesh, then defining the physics, solving the problem, and finally displaying the results. We are now in Flux Supervisor. To see the main supervisor useful comments, please report to the Getting Started video. First, we open a new project in 2D, for example. Now we are in Flux 2D environment and more precisely in the Sketcher context, which is dedicated to geometry building. In 3D, you will find the equivalent context called Modeler context. In fact, the first step in Flux is to create the geometry of the device. Once you have created the geometry in the sketcher, you can close it. Now we are in the Flux standard context where you can follow the project definition. Before going through the next steps, let's check Flux environment. In Flux, the different commands can be launched by diverse ways. The first way is through the menu. It is the most complete in terms of commands. In fact, it contains all entities creation or addition commands, but also diverse algorithms commands like checking the geometry, deleting the mesh, and so on. The menu changes depending on the step you are working on. Here we have all the commands for geometry and mesh, but not for physics. You have to define a physical application to have all physics commands. In the same way, to have post-processing commands, you have to solve your project. For example, I can create a geometric parameter through the geometry panel. The second way is through the icons. The displayed icons correspond to the step you are doing. The step can be switched through this button. Here we are in geometry step, so the icons correspond to geometry actions. I can switch to Mesh step to find all Mesh icons. To have access to physics and solving icons, you must create a physical application. For example, to create a geometric parameter, click on this icon. The third way to launch commands in Flux is through the data tree. Here you will find all the created entities like points, lines, mesh parameters, voltage source and so on. You can do all actions on entities through the data tree. To follow the same example to create a geometric parameter, you have to click right on geometric parameter. As for the icons, to create physical entities, you must define a physical application before. In Flux window, we have also below the graphic area two areas. A first one called Output, where you can find all the log data as error messages, warning messages, but also information about the actions executed by Flux. Below the Output, you have the Python command area dedicated to manage Python commands. In the left area, you can launch command by command. In the middle area, you can manage Python files by opening or creating it. And in the area on the right, you have access to the Flux log files, which exist in your working directory. The first one is updated at each Flux window opening. The second one contains all the actions executed from the project creation. So now let's follow an example to better understand. We will use for that the actuator basic example, which is available with more details in Flux starting guide interface. 
Here we have a project where the geometry has been done in the modeler context. To complete geometry definition, we can create an infinite box. That can be done through the menu or the data tree or through this icon. Here we have the project with the infinite box defined. To mesh it, we can just launch mesh domain from the mesh menu or through the icons. For that, you have to switch this button to mesh step and then click on this icon. This command is not available in the data tree as it is not a command on an entity. Now we have the project meshed and we want to define the physical data. To have access to all physical commands, but also solving commands, we have to define physical application which is possible only through the menu. After that, we can see that the menu and the data tree change and that we can switch this button to physical and solving step. So now we can define the physics and the solving through one of the three ways. Through the menu, you will use the physics and solving menu. Through the data tree, you will use physics and solver categories. Through the icons, you will switch to physical and solving step to use the associated icons. Once the project solved, you can see that the menu has changed. The geometry, mesh and physics menu have disappeared, and now we have new menus to post process. Plus, the button to switch from a flux step to another has disappeared, and all the icons now correspond to post-processing commands. Now you can post-process through one of the three usual ways. Now, let's discover Flux environments by practicing on one of the basic examples available in Flux Starting Guide interface.